So did your consciousness change because we made those journeys? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I would say so. I mean, it was absolutely fundamental. I'd never been to rainforest like that before. I got a sense of the Amazon. Uh, even though, as we know, it was quite short. It was going to be very short until they insisted that we stayed a few <laughs> more days because uh, time has a very different sense there. You know, you'll get up and then there's breakfast, but then there's what? I don't know. We just sort of hung about. It was There was no, you know, and then we would do something else and then we would do something else, but I there was no... Everything flowed one thing into the next and the next and the next. Um, but I think the key thing is that they, for certainly the people in, 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 in the Amazon beaming, I think what, what he, he arrives at is that there is a, this flow in and out of them, so that under those circumstances, there is a fundamentally different attitude to things like death. Death is not really such a problem, in a sense because they see themselves as coming from a community and going back, uh, a continuity, and going back into it. You know, they're contiguous and part of the forest. So as they go back into it, they just become part of the greater consciousness, which, of course, is everything joined up. So in other words, when he says at the end, for when, when McIntyre says at the end, for you, everything is alive and therefore reachable, uh, is there's a sense in which we, the, 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 I suppose the key thing what I want to people to feel, and my consequence of being there, is that to reflect on our society where everything is what you might say discrete, it is separate. We separate everything into different objects, different things, different moments. You know, this is this and that is that. Um, um, uh, you know, it, it's a very, we are, since the Greeks are fundamentally dualistic society, yes and no, black and white, uh, that is separate from that, you're separate from me. And of course that has become the language as well of oppression now. So that, you know, you're these people and you're that people. You know, this is our frontier, this is our, you know, all of these, and you know, separated men from women, people from peoples and so on. Uh, which is extremely divisive. And that is not necessarily part of, in fact it is not, at all, that is a narrative. That is part of a very, a very small part of our narrative. But we have got mistaken, and we think that's sort of part of our consciousness. We think that is how it is, whereas in fact, as you know, we encountered, that's not how it is at all necessarily. 